Well, hello YouTube. Nice uh, late summer evening. So, who are we going to go for a ride with? Ah, who could this be? It's Cam Biker. It's looking very clean. What? It looks very clean. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> now, the last time I tried to do this with Woody, it just turned into a laughter fest. Because this 250 can't keep up with that monster in front. Not no way. <laughs> but we aren't going very far. We're only going up to Ripplingham. So we'll give it a go. And what will even it up is... We're going to be on uh, Country Lanes, Advantage Woody. All sorts of interesting smells on this. This is called Dog Kennel Lane. And at the end there, there's a place that it, it um, pr prepares timber for uh, wood burners. And it smells like he was burning some of his scraps. A wonderful smell. And then in the other field, they're cutting hay. And God, it's absolutely <laughs> glorious. If a little dusty. Everybody taking advantage of this um, lovely Tuesday evening. It, it's only going to last for another hour. It'll get dark about quarter past eight, but it doesn't matter. Nearly. <laughs> I thought he, he was signalling left to go up Dog Kennel Lane, but he wasn't. Now, where did he go? I think he'll have gone down here. This is a guess, but I'm pretty certain he'll have gone down here. Mm. Yep, there he is. So it's, um, what is it, about 150 brake horsepower versus um, 19.8. <laughs> but I've been out on the 750 all afternoon and <clears throat> I didn't want to take, I didn't want to take care uh, Tetley again. Woody will start getting an inferiority complex. Yeah, I know, he's a motorbike, he doesn't have feelings. But uh, it's all part of the story. Oh, that's bright. That's the road to North Newbold. And uh, this will take us up to uh, High Hunsley.
and that's how it comes ahead of us. This is uh, why I, I enjoy our outings with uh, with Rich and Animal so much because he always goes places where I never think. I'm, he's, apparently we're going to see you know one of these things that he's, he's into. It's a thing, I, I don't know what it is, he told me the name of it, I'm still no wiser. <laughs> uh, it might be a lump of stone stuck in the ground or it could be a wood infested with killer horse flies or ah, who knows <laughs> always excited <laughs> where we are this is uh, sort of the the airy part of the Yorkshire Wolds we're, we're literally only a few miles from the River Humber <clears throat> and this is the same wold land that I ride in 20 or 30 miles further north but to say this is an area of the walls that I rarely, rarely come to, so this is nice, this is a bit different. <clears throat> the area is called Ripplingham. I'm not absolutely certain that there's a village of Ripplingham, I think it's more like a, a parish. I can't honestly say that I can think of, I know this is Ripplingham Crossroads, But beyond that, I ain't got a foggy. Walkington's to our left, Beverly's over here on our left. Over in that direction is Hull. South Cave and the motorway, M62 is over here. Nicely lit bit of woodland we're passing through. I said behind it was rippling, rippling them crossroads. Sorry, I was wrong. It's this one. This is rippling them crossroads. On the horizon over there, that's Hull. To be exact, it's East Hull because you, you won't be able to see it on the drift. But I can see the towers of the Humber Bridge. The drift won't show it, I know it won't. I have a feeling on the way back I'm going to need my heated grips. But in a couple of months time, six weeks to be exact, it'll be dark at this time, cold, wet. So I'll be looking at this and thinking, oh, wish I could do that. camera back on and share some of this lovely uh, early evening light. Yeah, this looks interesting. Is this it? How far are we going? Ooh, could be as much as a hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can manage that. Apparently, if you um, if you come here in winter and you're looking for it, you can see it from the road. Right. But yeah. in summer, you've got no chance because it'll leave. Right. Yeah. So what we've come to see is apparently is a mausoleum, whatever that is. <laughs> What's a mausoleum? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't want to know that. We're busy filming. The last time I got dragged into this kind of an environment, I was the main course. 
But I'm happy to report I see no horse flies and I'm keeping my jacket on. I can see the mausoleum that we're going to see. Apparently, Rich says it's the Rakes family. It has a bit of a grisly history. Somebody broke in and uh, stole a skull from one of the people that are buried in there. Bit grisly, eh? Right, I heard him shouting, so gotta watch out for the bad wire. What's up, Doc? Oh, heck! <laughs> That's the kind of thing I normally do. He's put a disc lock on his bike and then he thinks he's left the key in the ignition. I had to check mine just to be safe. Adio! Oh, heck! Easily done, though. So this is what we've come to see. This is seriously weird. Oh, man. That's quite spooky, isn't it? What a strange thing to find. Tell me its name again. It's Rex Mausoleum. Rex Mausoleum. Right. I've seen some weird shit in my life, but this is the weirdest one yet. What a strange thing to find. I never in my wildest dreams. What was the year? 18? Uh, yeah, it's all been bricked up, look. <laughs> they were looking with the tree, missed it. Dear me. That thing hit that, they would have done some serious damage to it. Apparently there's bodies in it. That is a really weird, strange thing to find. The things that people do for... Oof. So apparently when this was built, 1800s, um, it was in an open field. And interestingly, the vast majority of the trees here are what I call weed trees. They're sycamores. The bloody things grow like weeds. Um, I certainly wouldn't want them on my land. Every one I see, I uproot. These things just take over everything. And as far as I can see, there's nothing else but sycamores in here. Can't see anything else. Yeah, there's no oak. No, it's just yeah, it's just sycamores. So it's um, an uh, it's a young weedy forest, and apparently when this mausoleum was built, I bet he never expected to be surrounded by trees. And one of them, look. It's grown, rotted, and fallen. If that had fallen and hit this mausoleum, it would have, it would have took lumps out of it because that's a lot of weight in that tree trunk. It's only a matter of time before one of these goes over and does some damage to it. And you can see at the top there, it's, something's bitten a big chunk out of it. And it ain't built from the best of stone either. It's uh, sandstone, so that'll you can see it's dissolving. Get a bit closer. You see, look, that's weathering, biting big chunks out of it. Yeah. Sorry? No, something's bitten this though. It's got a, it's got big chunks. Out. It's the stone that's built from into it. It's soft. It won't stand weather. Yeah, but in the in this you know in the life of a piece of stone, that's like you see where they bricked it up. How many bodies? Oh my lord! Right. So what Richard's doing is he's got a gimbal, and he has an iPhone SE 2020 attached to it, 
and he's just getting all different shots and angles. And as he said, it, he could fly the drone around it, but with all these trees, if it loses signal, it will climb to try and re-establish it. Well, you can see what's laughing in here, can't you? That simply won't work. Hence why he's using the gimbal. Right, let's see if I can... I've got no bike lock on Woody. I don't like leaving him too long. So I'm going to try and find my way out of this cover. And... Uh, I can have a couple of minutes with the bike. This isn't what I would call the best kind of woodland. If this was my land, I'd have this lot taken down. As uh, you might have guessed, I'm not a fan of sycamores. They're invasive, horrible trees. And I've got no time for them. The other thing is, they're not long lasting. And when they do fall down, they cause a lot of damage. Well, the bikes are still here. I must admit, I didn't like leaving him. See, Richard had the presence man to bring a disc lock. And I, I never thought. Never entered my head. Must. Quite dislock on this bike. <sighs> so yeah. So just from a YouTube vlog, yes. I've met somebody in Beverly today, Smithster on two wheels. This is the fella. <laughs> so I'll add this to the next time I make a vlog. So you'll be on you'll be on YouTube as Richard said. Because normally if I leave the bike stand down on Tetley and try to set off it stalls and you'll hear a voice in the background shouting, You're on YouTube <laughs> You've been done. You've been done, absolutely. It, actually we go like that, because that's allowed as well. Because I got gloves on. Richard, you missed this one mate. See you next time. The coffee was free. <laughs> right, I'll let you get off. Otherwise, you are definitely going to get a ticket. Five minutes to find your car. Yeah. So just head for the, that brick bar. And it's, it's, it says M62 on it, I'm pretty certain. Be safe. So I have a very pleasant hour and a half with uh, Smithster on two wheels. On his way home from seeing his mum-in-law. trying to give him the directions to uh, find his way back. <laughs> 